everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you my finished project for Jennifer at A Trace of Sparkle. And it took me quite some time. This was a challenge for me. This will be available if you are interested in to purchasing this, but um, it will not be in my Etsy just yet. Um, I have to wait for hubby to take me to the FedEx store up where we live and I have to get a big box for this project. So for shipping purposes, I will put all the boxes inside each other and then add the other things around it in the box, but I need a big box. But I hope that you all are doing well today and are having a very lovely day. It is cloudy and it's going to rain this evening. But um, I, I thank each and every one of you for stopping by and watching this video. I appreciate you and love you all so much. So I used all, all of the papers and the digitals in this project. And um, uh, this is uh, called Love Petals. And it was just a gorgeous, gorgeous digitals. I've had so much fun. Um, making this project it was I, I I don't mind a little bit of a challenge but it is finished but I figured we will go through each box first and I'll show you what's inside and what I put in there so let's let, let's go ahead and get started all right so let's start with the smaller box okay so here is the smaller box and I put a pink cameo and some snippets of lace behind it in this gorgeous trim around the box. And it's just so pretty. There's some light coming in, but it is cloudy, so I don't know why there's light coming in. So I lined the, the bottom of the box with the same trim as the top and this beautiful digital here. So this is a different digital than this one printed out on fabric. There's a little light right there, but it's all right. Um, and then I put uh, snippets of flowers down here with uh, lace and applique. So there it is up close. So pretty. And on the inside, now I did not line the heart box anything right here because it would be too tight of a fit and on the inside I did blueberry dye the felt so it came out like pink cotton candy it's so nice and I don't it doesn't have a smell anymore so it doesn't have a blueberry smell but it did come out pink so the blueberry tea that I used uh, makes everything pink so that's always nice so on the inside here I'm I uh, added Jennifer's envelopes and I just tucked it in like this and I put some ephemera inside and I put these in there and those have a little bit of lines on them so you can write on them and then this one as well this little tag. I love the roses and chocolates. And then this envelope. And this is a hard applique. And inside this envelope, oh, I didn't show you, is uh, this digital. And these tags here. Oops, these uh, tags here. So pretty. And then this right here, I just tied a real soft tool. It's a peachy pink tool, it's so pretty. And then behind it, so this tag here, is this envelope and then I sewed 
the signature in this little tiny flip book. So I put her digitals in here and it's just little yummy papers to, you know, just write your thoughts down. So just lots of cute little papers in there. So I have this tucked behind the tool in here. So that's so fun. Now let me tell you a little story about this. I was trying to sew an envelope to hold what's inside of this organza bag. My sewing machine just quit working, so I'm going to have to uh, play around with it. It's probably time for a new sewing machine, right? <laughs> it's a beginner sewing machine, so I had to um, uh, learn how to sew on it. So it's been two years now, so it's just time for a new one. So I put this beautiful pink... Uh, sorry, silk wrapped around the digital, Love Petal Digital. And I printed it out on fabric and I was going to sew, you know, an envelope. Not an envelope, just like a little clutch to hold what's inside here. And I was going to back it with this vintage uh, dyed fabric here. Um, but this is a beautiful bracelet. It is not real diamonds. It's just uh, for fun. And it has a class there so you can change how big or small you want it. But it's, it's pretty. And I figured with the heart boxes and the other things that I put in here, it'd be fun for Valentine's, right? But I should get a box by Monday. So Monday will be when I get a box. So then I will put it up on my Etsy. But I will let you guys know here on YouTube when I do. When I'm getting ready to put it up there. So if you're wanting it, you know, just uh, be ready. But I gotta get a big box. And I'm gonna FedEx it. So, um... I don't know where else to get a big box but the FedEx store. So if I can fix my sewing machine, I'll try and make a little clutch for that. So that's so much fun, right? Fun little goodies in your heart box here. So this is the little one. Let me put this back together here. So that's so pretty. And... Um, because there's lace and fabric on here, I close it by closing it up here first, then right here. So that's so pretty. So I hope that you like this. And here's the medium size box. I did put a vintage uh, tea dyed lace here on the inside of this beautiful digital. Look at that. I love this. And a, a pearl trim around that edge. And then I put this beautiful mauvey pink because it matches with the mauvey pink and the roses in this uh, digital here. And I put the same vintage lace down here as it's up here. And I added the same lace here. So, so pretty. And the lace back here, so pretty. So I, I loved doing these these boxes. All right, so in here is jam packed with yummies. So let's just go ahead and start going through them. This is a file folder, and a paper clip with some lace here, and I think it's blueberry dyed as well. The camera's not picking it up, but it's like. It looks like pink cotton candy. Look at that digital. Isn't it beautiful? So, let me just take off the paper clip. So, we have this journaling card here. 
And this is a file folder that is included into the kit. And I packed it with some yummy things. And it's beautiful with the chocolate candies and the roses. And then the back here. Look at that lace. And then we have this journaling tag. And this one, I love the colors. And then this one. And I did sew my, uh, using my favorite lace stitch, but you see what my sewing machine was doing? So, and then I sewed some tulle on the back to hold this cute little journaling spot here. So this is her words that she added, sweetheart and cutie pie. I love this, it's so cute. And I did sew in this, the little signature in here as well. And then I added these cute uh, digitals in here. And this is uh, Jennifer's paper here that she made that I won in a giveaway. And uh, those are so cute. The heart stencil and the beautiful colors. So it went perfectly with this uh, project here. I just want to show you the papers because she did an amazing job on those stenciled papers there. So that gets tucked in there. And then this in here. Usually I don't put everything back, but <laughs> I'm going to now. So I remember where everything goes. And then the other file folder here with tea dye lace and here's the uh, the ephemera with a keyhole so cute you are my everything and the other file folder that looks like this the colors are just gorgeous i love these colors and the ephemera I put in here is this. I love this with the lines. You can actually doodle some thoughts, positive thoughts for that day. And this uh, journaling tag here. And then this one. I love the collaging of the hearts and the lace and the love. And I love the, the lace, how, sh how you can cut it out on the bottom like that. So cute. So I have this tucked in here just like this. So many fun things in this project. And here's an envelope. And I put uh, a bow applique with this heart applique for a tuck. And then I put the two heart journaling tags in here, her snippets, aren't they pretty? So I inked everything up with tatted rose and um, the other one, the, the two pink ones that I always use. And then here we have those two little shabby chic journals that we worked on in the, in the video last time. So here it is. It's finished. I put a heart uh, bead here and a heart gem there. That trim and I sewed, remember we sewed in the signatures and then I added this baby pink lace here. I'll, I'll leave a link to that video down below. So these are so cute. These were so fun to make. So there is that one and then this one as well. So I put another heart gem here and another one here. And I added this beautiful trim on the edge and this beautiful lace on here. So, so fun. 
The digitals are so pretty. And then, of course, I'm adding some chocolates. Box of heart chocolates. It is sealed when I bought it with some plastic wrap. And it's Russell, Russell Stover, I think. And it comes with these chocolates. They're so delicious. Hubby bought me a box of these chocolates for Christmas. And they're so good. And I wrapped it with uh, a satin pink ribbon and a organza baby pink ribbon here. And then I put in this tag that I sewed with my favorite stitch. So fun. And then also blueberry dyed felt in this one as well. This box. So, so fun. I can't wait. To get a box. <laughs> hmm. Oops. Let's put it like that. So, let me fix that. Sorry about that. Okay. So, let's, uh, and again, you want to bring it like this to close it. So, so pretty. So fun. I hope you like this one. And here is the big box. Um, so I added the frame and behind the frame, I put in this gorgeous lace behind it. So I wonder if I can, well, see if we can see it under the frame there. So pretty. And I added this coffee dyed pink satin ribbon here. And I added this beautiful peachy. Uh, I, tr I was trying to match her beautiful outfit, just a lighter uh, peach, peachy pink. So this is a lighter peachy pink. She's so pretty. And I put felt behind her to lift her up because the box, um, you know. And then I added this trim. The box is so big. So I added this all the way around. Okay, so let's put the lid back on real quick and show you the whole box. So here's the wall, the, the digital that I used down here and I put this dainty trim here and some lace right here in the corner. And the ribbon does hang all the way down had it flipped like this. These box, this box is really, really big. And I added some lace right here. Okay. <clears throat> All right. And then this wooden frame has hearts at the top. And at the bottom, isn't that cute? I love the details of the scroll work. It matched perfectly with Jennifer's digitals because of all the wallpaper she used. The beautiful digitals. <clears throat> okay, so inside um, I made a heart a book or journal, whatever you would like to call it. And it is pretty full, and it did take up the whole box. <laughs> it was kind of hard to get it in here, but I was able to do that. And again, I added blueberry dyed felt at the bottom to kind of protect the project. So, let me see. Let me just move that out of the way. So, this is all done with matte photo paper. And I used a uh, rose gold uh, ring here. And I added a very long tassel here with pinks and peachy pinks on the edge. So there's real soft peachy pink tulle, a gorgeous baby pink lace. I bet they're pretty close to a yard, if a half a yard to a yard. Um, this baby pink bow lace here, 
this little dainty lace. And I added some sari silk, beautiful, beautiful nude peach. So that was a nude peach color and a, a white satin ribbon. And let's see, and this, this cotton lace here, eyelet lace. And this, this one here, just tulle, and then this one here. So there's pinks and peachy pinks in here. I don't even think, they're the only thing that's white is the ribbon and then the white on this one. So it hangs pretty long, it's so pretty. All right, so here's the front of the journal here. And I use this cream lace. Let me see if I can get in just a little bit closer. All right, so this is uh, Jennifer's gorgeous di digital here. I love the roses and the chocolates and I added applique here, here. This applique holds these beautiful uh, flowers here with pearls and an applique here and I put the lace all the way around. Let's see if you can see the flowers. And then you just open it like this. Oh, and right here on the bulb uh, pin, a white bulb pin, I added this beautiful, um, yummy charm decoration. It has the same blues as she used in her digitals and a pink gem here, kind of like a teal bluish green gem there and some rhinestones. There's, it's so pretty and it says love. And then I added a white applique piece here. Okay, so in each heart, I put a double pocket on the inside using an index card. So I put the index card right in the middle, glued the heart, both the hearts down, and then cut off the index card off the side. So, um, in the double pocket, you have two pockets. So let's see if we can see the index card in here. It's right here. So it kind of separate the front and the back of the pocket. So let me go back to this one real quick. So in this front pocket, we have these two journaling cards. I added a vintage piece here with a little bit of chiffon ruffle on the edge and this pearl charm here on a pink bulb pin and look at this digital doesn't that look yummy that's why I had to add chocolates to the projects <laughs> so those are so pretty that way and I didn't do anything with this that way if you want to you know use this in a project and frame it or do whatever you would like to do. So let's see. And then when we had the page open, I want to show you the, the pocket here. So in this pocket on this side of the heart, let's see if we can see the pocket in here. See that? So I glued it down so it would separate the front and back of the heart. And then I used an eyelet here to uh, secure the hearts. So on that pocket, let's see, let's move these over here. In this pocket we have <clears throat> this tag here. With this lace. And then some baby pink tulle with a black and white polka dotted bow there. This gorgeous digital. I have pieces of lace everywhere. I love this digital and I love those chocolates. So nice. So then I added uh, some pink lace here. It's very baby pink with some pink appliques. And 
And then on this one here, I love this one. I love the scroll work and that be so pretty to wallpaper your craft room with this one and the pink one. <laughs> okay, so this one is a peachy pink lace. Um, and then I added this beautiful peachy pink applique here. I didn't want to over decorate. You don't have to with her digitals. They are gorgeous. So gorgeous. So on this front pocket here, I added this a peachy pink soft tool to the top of this tag here. So here I added a bulb pin, a pink bulb pin, and I added this beautiful piece here. Looks like a little mini chandelier piece. So pretty. And this little bow flower applique. This dainty lace. I love little snippets of lace. And this is all from the project. This is uh, the fabric that I covered, I think, the little box with. And we have this trim here. So pretty. And this lace here. So pretty. And this gorgeous lace has a little bow on the bottom. And this is from covering the other box. This is the fabric, and then this beautiful lace here. So, so many trims to play with and have some fun. All right, so let's flip it here. So, all together, there are five hearts, okay? Right? Five hearts, yeah. So, on this side, I added white applique. Look at this beautiful wallpaper. This digital is just gorgeous. Look at that. So pretty. I didn't even want to cut none of the papers. They're just, they were so pretty. All right, so I added the applique here in this dainty baby pink lace. I think I got from Lori. And a beautiful bow here. And in this pocket, I added these tags here. And this one. Now that coffee looks so good. Can eat it with some of the chocolates. All right. And then over here on this heart, I put um, a pink, a baby pink and gold trim on here. And this beautiful cotton lace here trim. So pretty. And on this side of the pocket, I added this trim here with the baby pink tool and I add the black and white polka dotted bows because it reminds me of like Paris and uh, chocolates like a chocolate candy shop in Paris that's the what I was trying to go for and uh, there we are there so that is such a pretty page in that digital the roses so feminine and gorgeous and then over here is this beautiful digital and the white applique here. It's more like a cream, a cream applique. And then this gorgeous ruffle around. It's kind of like a, a about the same color as the digital. And then on this one, I added these two. You are my world. With a really baby pink lace there. And then on this one is this gorgeous digital too. Look at the look at the two together. So pretty with this uh, baby pink lace here and another bulb pin on my gold bulb pin this time with these beautiful pearls dangle in this wood chip piece that I inked up with a vintage photo and it has that scroll work in it. So you can have some fun with that piece. And in this pocket I added, uh, oops, I think I, I did, I, there we go. Um, 
Okay, so here's this tag. Perry, Perry Candy Shop. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so on this side, we have this digital romance and uh, pretty gold and baby pink. And again, I added peachy pink lace all the way around that using tatted rose. And on this pocket, I added these two. So yummy. Such a pretty digital. And then on this side, um, this is the fifth page. This is the last one. I added a white applique to this. I loved this. I love this digital with the frame and the lace and the music notes. Le Perry. Oui, oui. <laughs> and then I added this uh, tag there. So pretty with the beautiful pink roses. So here's this one. So then you turn it like this. And here is the back page, the last one. Gorgeous, gorgeous digitals. And uh, I put this lace on here with this, uh, looks like tea dyed applique. So pretty. So I'm glad I didn't cut the hearts out any uh, bigger than that because it wouldn't fit in the box. And then um, I sewed the stitch on here with some lace on the back and I added a little another little book here with these two tickets so I just uh, sewed in the signature those cute little chocolates on the tickets and then I added in these little tiny papers in here some more of a heart paper this was so fun putting together these little tiny books So I hope that you like this heart book and uh, it's all fluffy and lacy. All right, another last little treat for this project is this very vanilla, all organic, soy based candle, lead free wick. Um, I had my friend here where I live uh, fill this up with her beautiful wax, but I have this uh, vintage uh, porcelain set here that I will add with it, and I will add her information uh, in my description box because you can send her an email and she will deliver to you. So they're beautiful candles. I burn these about every single day because I love candles and they're very lovely. So um, this will be included in this project. And plus, it's very easy to clean out once it's done. All you got to do is wipe it out with a paper towel and it is finished. So I hope that you uh, like this design team project. And um, it will be available, I'm, I'm thinking by Monday or Tuesday if you are interested. But I thank you all for stopping by. And I will let you know when I get a box. I will, um, I'll let you know here. And uh, thank you for watching. And um, this is a design team project for Jennifer at A Trace of Sparkle. And have a blessed weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye.